Hi guys, Angie here with Angie Makes. Today we're talking about blog kits and specifically these blog post layouts that come with our blog kits that you can purchase that go really well with the Angie Makes WordPress themes. So this blog kit, if you can see here, um, under the Mary Kate theme, the Mary Kate blog kit that I've downloaded, there's these different folders and inside our post layouts folder, there's these different layouts that you can really just use to make your blog posts look really nice and you add your own images in Photoshop and save these to upload to your blog posts. And again, just some pre-designed layouts that look really slick. You will have to have Photoshop to edit these. This PSD file extension is a Photoshop extension. so. These are Photoshop documents and you will need to open them in Photoshop. They do have a free 30 day trial if you're interested in downloading that for free to just edit these um, and use in your blog posts. So I've already opened this in Photoshop. I've chosen this hexagon layout and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the layers over here are very well organized. There's the top left, top right, second row here. And I'm just gonna make sure I have this top left image, the red hexagon selected. Then I'm gonna go to file place and I'm going to choose some of my images here. Let's choose these shoes. Okay, now this is how you add a clipping mask. I'm going to hold down the alt key and hover in between my two layers and then I'm going to click. All right, the reason you're not seeing those shoes is I need to drag it. Oops. I need to make sure that I drag my image to the top and I'm going to actually unmask it really fast for you guys so you can see kind of what's going on here. It's going really slow, but I need to drag it so that it's just above that hexagon so that when it's clipped, I can actually view it. I hope that made a little bit of sense at least. So there's some ballerina shoes. You can always transform your image. I hit Apple T to get those transform tools so that it just looks right. You can drag it around. And the reason that I selected this before I placed that image is when you select a layer and then you go to file place, whatever image you place is going to be right on top of whatever layer you have selected. So again, that was just a way to add that um, and get it in the right spot. Here we go. I'm going to add an image to this hexagon and I'm seeing which one it is by toggling the visibility. So I'm selecting this, going to file, place. Again, whatever image that I place is going to land right on top of whatever layer is selected. All right, we're going to clip it. I'm holding down alt, hovering until I see that double circle shape. And then I'm going to drag the image. I'm going to transform it again, Apple T, to make sure it's showing what part of image I want to show. Okay, and you're just going to do this However, many times you want to get as many images here as you want. Of course, you could always, if you didn't like the red, you could always click, double click, and do a different color overlay here. Um, you know, if you wanted some of those hexagons to be blank, for example. And then I'm going to go, once I get this looking the way I want it, I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to save it as my desktop as a JPEG image. And I already have one named that, so I'm going to replace the one that I currently have. Okay, and so then it's simply a matter of going to the back end of whatever WordPress post you want to add your media to. I've already uploaded an image here. It's going to look pretty bad because I have these red hexagons that I haven't inserted other images into, but that's, that's it. And it's just very straightforward, very simple to add these post layout images and they look really nice. It's a really great way to make your posts shine.